Time to do some snow plowing with a Yamaha Wolverine X4 hooked up to a KFI Poly Pro. This is a six and a half foot blade. And it sets up pretty nicely. When it pulls up, the cable is straight and therefore it doesn't put a lot of tension on the winch line. I haven't had any issues whatsoever with any breakage and it comes on and off pretty easy. This is the KFI mount that goes underneath and so you can take the blade on and off pretty conveniently and it's nice because it has another uh, spot right there to put a hitch if you want to do things like move boats around etc etc. So let's get out there and uh, Plow some snow. One thing I do want to make mention of is how I have it set. It's just barely over the top of the ground, the blade. And it's because I have the seven washers up on the top and then single washer down below on each side of the rubber washers. That seems to set the distance quite nicely and uh, can get a, a good overall scrape on it and get most if not all the snow up and off so let's get going one thing that i did that makes things nice is i plugged in a heated seat and that makes a world of difference quite literally you can just leave it on the whole time and it just charges in the back in this 12 volt outlet. Keep it in four wheel drive low and you won't have any issues whatsoever. So let's start it up. This is to go a little bit beyond and then lift up. First pass. Works pretty nicely. As you can see, it's always going to leave a little bit of a little bit of a row. And you just have to take a couple of passes. But uh, that's a good job.
driveway. One thing that's very nice about this particular snowplow too is that all you have to do in order to rotate it is just pull up. And then you can just simply twist it and it will lock back into place. And then you can have your angles as you need them as well. And it goes both ways in regards to which angle, so depending on where you need to push the snow, you can do it quite nicely. Keep working your way back and forth, up and down the rows. You tilt it. So this way you want to do it is you want to tilt it so that you always are pressing the snow out. So you go down one side and then you can go right back the other direction down the other side and you make yourself a nice path. And if you're wider, sometimes it helps to start in the middle and work your way out, as long as the snow is not gonna to be too deep to be able to do that. If it is super deep, then you have to uh, do like a divider line and then continue your way through. But you get a feel for it. Bottom line, this snow plow does an awesome job. KFI. Pro Poly. Six and a half foot wide, works perfect with a Wolverine X4. And uh, it handles snow, piece of cake, no issues with any of the line rubbing. Because you can adjust it, there's a lot of adjustability here where all the different bolts go through. You can put them in different positioning and adjust where the actual line itself connects to as well. So by being able to do that, you really can fine tune how everything is going in and out of your machine so you don't put too much tension on the rope. And that's the biggest problem that a lot of people are complaining about, too much tension on the rope. And uh, it's just not an issue if you put it in there the way it's designed and pay attention to how you connect it. At least that's what I've found so far on the Wolverine X4 in particular. And even with that skid plate down below, that it connects to um, once you take that off it does decrease the clearance a little bit so I'm talking about is right here so if that's the case and you really need that clearance then your best bet is just simply to remove it which is just a couple of u-bolts going through and then it can come down and off and you do have to remove the front as well so I kept the original uh, fair lead in order to be able to uh, swap them out if I need to. If I end up taking this mount off and put the old fair lead on and uh, still keep the, that winch in place. So there you go. Do a couple more shots of doing some final clearing. have any turnarounds like I do here it's definitely best to start on the inside and then work your way out because then the snow just naturally pushes on the outer radius so as you'll see here we'll just go around let's catch the inside of where the snow starts and then we'll quite literally just Right around. Oof. Here's an example.
example of why you may want to consider putting down those posts. That's going to be a repair job in the spring. There you go, running the radius. And when it starts getting dark, additional lighting above definitely helps. Because that way the lights can make it over the plow and you can keep going. So the Wolverine X4 with the KFI Poly Pro six and a half foot wide snow plow makes snow removal a whole lot of fun.